something as fast as possible? No problem. Especially if you got an empty stomach. And if you made it a competition, all's the better. Welcome to our speed eating challenge. Our contestants are ready with their stomachs of steel. And the first dish is in front of them, seaweed salad. Mike has an optimistic look about him, but Kira seems more ready to back out than anything. Time to start eating, you two. Come on, Kira, try and keep up. Are you sure this is edible? It looks questionable to me. Asian cuisine, baby. Over there, raw fish is a delicacy, so thank your lucky stars we're not looking at a big old plate of that stuff. Are you talking about sushi? I would love it if we had to eat sushi instead. But seaweed salad? Yuck, so not for me. This looks like something that could cause food poisoning. Easy. Well, I'm still alive and well, so quit your whining. No, no, I can't. This is too awful to stomach. I cannot force myself to eat this. You let the look of it get to you. Didn't you ever hear you shouldn't judge a book by its cover? Well, now you've lost the first round. Why are you scooping my leftovers into a bucket? Don't worry, Kira, you'll find out soon enough. I wonder what round two has in store for us. Whoa, we've been tossed a little bit of tart, citrusy goodness. What do you think about that, Mikey? Personally, I'm down for just about anything when it comes to food, apart from fasting. My motto is scarf down what's put in front of you and let your stomach figure out what's what. If I follow that, victory is mine. Wow, that is super, super tart. Oh, what we wouldn't do would be called champions, right? But despite the fact that I'm so trying to keep my eye on the prize, this lemon is determined to shut my eyes and my mouth. I think I'm throwing in the towel again. Take it from me, a real pro. The less you think about it, the less awful it is. And the crowd goes wild <sighs> as Mike knocks another one out of the park. Now to squeeze a little fresh lemon juice into our container of unknowable secrets, and I can go ahead and celebrate another hard-earned win. Wow, Cheetos, I could eat these until the cows come home. Hand me over a bag and I'll pop it and then just try and stop me. But they'll be gone before you can. Don't count your chickens before they've hatched, Mikey. Worry about yourself, okay, Kira? You think I can't come back from two measly losses? Just you watch me, baby. I might surprise you. All too often, pride and arrogance turns out to be a hero's downfall. Hey, is that allowed? No one told me I could do that. Is that how you want to play, Kira? Like it or not, mister, this time, I'm the champion. Kira, Kira, Kira. And the leftovers you couldn't manage to eat shall be donated to our shared charity. Told you not to get too cocky. <laughs> And rolling this way is the biggest, juiciest, and most delicious fruit I can think of. Yum! Oh! I'll crack this in half so that we can both pick up our spoons, and then this stage of the contest can finally begin. Here, I'd bet good money on whoever happens to be the thirstiest among us. Can't forget to spit out those pesky seeds that are trying to stand between me and another win. Did you see that? I'm a watermelon machine gun. If you think you'll be able to beat me as easily as you did in the last round, you are sorely mistaken, Missy. And don't think I'll go easy on you just because you're a girl. All's fair in a challenge. first place in a competition like this, you have to not only be the strongest, but also smarter than your opponent. And I happen to have both brains and brawn, so look out. Sorry I'm not sorry, you lose. Again. I pour out this watery melony mush in remembrance of your latest defeat. Being the best is a hard burden to bear, but someone's gotta do it. And clearly, not you, Kira. Don't hate the player, hit the game, man. All of this is beginning to worry me. 
Yuck! Night of the living leftovers. Ice cream! Just so you know, Mikey, you don't have a snowball's chance of winning this time. Inhaling pints of Baskin Robbins has been my specialty for years now. Well, Kira, I can promise you that no matter how bad a brain freeze I get, I'm not letting you beat me. Ew. Yeah, well, even if I get so cold, I get a wicked cold, and I'm laid up in bed with a 102 degree temperature, I won't give in. Less talk and more ice cream, Kira. We'll see who comes out on top. You've probably only gotten down a small portion of that pint, lots more to go. So you may regret crowning yourself the queen of soft serve. I don't think I will, Mikey. Because I am just that. If you don't believe me, go ahead and take a look for yourself. Please refer to me only as your highness. What? No would he come back? Holy mother of pearl! I understand it's hard to admit defeat, but you'll need to learn to make peace with this one and many, many more in the near future. Yeah, man! Donuts! I've been wondering when these guys would make an entrance. Finally, these round beauties are a part of today's challenge. Honestly, I really don't know who will take the cake this round. Or the donut, as it were. I mean, who doesn't love a long john? And that means we've got a real and fair competition on our hands. Come on, Kira. No thinking. Just chewing as fast as you can. The clock is ticking, and that means every second is absolutely precious. Not sure about you, Kira, but me, I've got no plans whatsoever of stopping anytime soon. How could a dude in the prime of his life possibly bow out and let anyone out eat him? Guys my age are known for being bottomless pits, right? I don't know what to tell you, Mikey boy, but you're not the only one who can eat endlessly. And sorry, big guy, but once again, you're going to have to bow to my awesomeness. I don't want to upset you, but you might not be as bottomless as you thought you were. And not to rub salt in the wound, but to be clear, I'm now in the lead. Yes, yes, honey, face the facts. You, a dude in the prime of your life, are losing to a tiny little girl. Looks like we've got a veggie course on our plates, Mike. And as a tiny little girl, we both know I'm much more skilled at eating healthy foods like all of these. Oh. You're so fast to come to conclusions, Kira. Just because guys can scarf down burgers left and right, that doesn't mean that corn and beans aren't for us just the same. So speed up. Or slow down if you want to make it easier on me. I won't complain. But you're going to be the one left in tears at the end of this stage. I'm going to go ahead and eat my words. Call it a draw? What do you say? I'm 100% on board. I don't have it in me to chew any more of this vegetarian delight. Oh wow, our containers have filled up rather nicely in the course of this competition, but the looks of them keep getting worse. Can't argue with you there. But these are the key to winning. <laughs> no! Oh no, Mike, say it ain't so. Say I don't have to. Do you think you'd be getting some kind of fairy tale ending? <laughs> Wrong. We're going to eat this? Forgive me for not warning you, but if you knew ahead of time, then you would have run for the hills before we got started. Now, you don't have that option, baby. Here we go. Oh, queen of the challenges. I wish you all the best mixing in the world. Don't worry about me. Once I've committed to something, I'm in for the long haul. Everyone stand back a safe distance, please. Kira's fixing to make the most insane smoothie in all of culinary history. Heck, in all of human history. Well, it's time to give this a try and see what exactly we've made here. <gasps> to you, Mike. To love, Kira. Ew. God, that is vile. Oh, this is the worst thing I've ever tasted. Where's the nearest bathroom? So kind of you to join us today. Do us a favor, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel so you can enjoy all of our videos. Until our next challenge, see you later, alligator.